Welcome to Casting Cajun. I'm your host, Tony Fontenot. Doing a little kayak fishing in Venice today. We actually just dropped the kayaks off the side of the road, paddled a few yards, and started catching fish. Our guide is Captain Brian Sherman. His son, Nolan, is paddling the cameraman around. And if you like what you see and you'd like to book a trip, you can reach Captain Brian at kayakvenicela.com. So get ready for an exciting half hour with Casting Cajun. Cast and Cajun is brought to you by Thibodeau Regional Medical Center for expert, compassionate care. Grafton Dermatology, specializing in diseases of the skin, hair, nails, and cosmetic surgery. Cajun Home Improvements, the last roof you'll ever buy. Don's Wholesale, your truck superstore with the largest selection of pre-owned trucks in Louisiana. Homatravel.com, experience world-class fishing in the heart of Louisiana. Visit Homatravel.com. Bourgeois Meat Market, miracles in meat since 1891. And by Tony Sacheries, makes everything taste great. What I got have I got here? A flounder. All right. Oh, fish on over here. Got a nice flounder on. Flounder, baby. Boo doo, baby. Look at another flounder. Not a bad way to start the morning. About my third cast, catch one of my favorite eating fish, a Louisiana flounder. Caught that fish on a voodoo shrimp by two feet under the cart. Since I was only fishing in about a foot of water, must have been just sitting on the bottom. Now I'm gonna tell you a little secret. That fish, this bait had a girlfriend, and it's the live shrimp. So now they're a happy couple. Let's see if I can go get another flounder. I want to see you drag him across that land, Brian. No, no, no. All right. Hello, fish. Fish on. Nice fish. Decent fish. Nice 
It's <laughs> rare and it's fun. Just threw it across and brought it across. That one's got a nicer one over here. He does? Uh, we're up in the shallow stuff. Look at the spots on him. Look at the spots on him. Oh, yeah. Body. What you got there, Captain Brian? I got a nice little redfish with 11 spots on him. Wow. There. Look at that. That's a nice eater. Right there. Perfect eating size. Uh, it's early winter and we're in Venice. Uh, we're fishing in real shallow water. The water, the tide is up right now. So we've been, uh, we've been after the fish in real shallow pockets and little trinosas that leak through the grass and, uh, and the little ones that come through the canals and enter in the canals. Captain Brian was in this little cubby hole, so I told him he had to get out so we could see his fish and he could talk about it, so I snuck in his spot. This is what you call skinny water. Probably six inches. Well, that's a red. Little red. A rat red playing with it all that time. <laughs> oh, it's a little drum or sheep head or something. A little sheephead. Something kept taking my shrimp and I wasn't feeling it. Now I know why. All right, sheephead. See that sign over there? It says stop. That goes for you. Stop taking my shrimp. Stay strong. Great boozy, no uh, it's a small rat ran, but no shrimp, just straight boozy. Yep, we got a nice red on right here, turny red. So up here in this little pocket, I heard one splashing around up in here. I made a couple casts, and he was laying right up here by these. <laughs> he doesn't want to be on TV. <laughs> oh, no, he does. Look at right now. Captain Brian caught those last couple of fish fishing off the bottom. He took his stopper off and just hooked the voodoo shrimp on. Oh, something big just hit right there. And uh, I think that's what I'm going to change to. This water's so shallow that with my stopper and a, a two foot leader, sometimes I can't tell the fish are just stealing my shrimp. And I hate a thief. I know they're fishing here because they were taking my shrimp. Don't go away. When we come back, more kayak fishing in Venice, Louisiana. Christ had 12 possible. Fish on. 
know what it is. Little red fish. Another baby red. Oh, get him, boy. Get him, baby, voodoo. There you go. <laughs> He's coming over here. Thinks I'm going to help him. Yeah, beautiful. And he's an eater. Oh yeah, beautiful. Beautiful. Good job, cow. Look at that, I got this one on the voodoo without any live shrimp. This is all voodoo. Oh, another baby, but still having fun. We're catching a lot of redfish here, but all the ones I'm catching are small. So I think we're gonna move out and try to catch some trout. Now that's funny. I just turned the GoPro down so I wouldn't flash the editor. It's about to, uh, oh, a flounder. Put my, was about to put my rod down to uh, relieve myself, and the cork went under. Look what I got. Another delicious flounder. I said don't lip them, but you can lip them with a grabbing glove. Mm-mm-mm. Delicious. I think this is uh, probably one of the few fish I like fried even better than sockley. But I fillet him, take the skin off. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Look at him go. Good thing I have the micro down. He's taking drag, taking drag. I think I might go for a ride. Wish I had a cushion on here instead of just on the top of my... Ooh, he just came out of the water, Gary. He's pulling me. I'm gonna run into you, watch out. This is fun. He's going under your boat. He tried to, here he is, there he is. Hee hee hee. Oh, that's a bull red. That's a bull red. Yeah. Ride the bull, baby, ride the bull. I wish I had my bogle grip. I'll just have to use my hand. He's kind of silver, he's not even gold. Because the water's dirty, I guess. Look at him pulling me around. First bull red I catch in a kayak. Okay. I'm trying to get him on that side of the boat so you folks can see him, but... I need a woman. Get under there, boy. Come here, baby. Guess this rod's gonna get tested. Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> oh, yeah. I'll get down. Love you on secret. No net needed. Thank you, Lord. Now, since this is the size that lay eggs, what we're gonna do with her is let her go. Oh, go ahead, swim away. There she goes. All good. I've been using the same voodoo shrimp all day long. I don't know how many fish I caught, but it was a lot. And it's got, got Kevlar in it. It's still just as good as when I first put it on. I'm using a 40 pound fluorocarbon leader. And uh, good thing, when I hooked that big mama you saw earlier, I had my Finn's G40 braided line. Let's see if I can do that again. This casting Cajun cooking segment is brought to you by Tony Sashries makes everything taste great. I'm here with Chef Lindsay Mason at Cristiano's in Houma, Louisiana. Chef, tell us what we're going to prepare today. Today we're going to be doing a scallop crudo and we're going to do a cucumber guacamole with it. One of my favorites. Let's get started. All right. So first off, we're going to prepare the cucumber guacamole to go with our scallop crudo. We're going to begin with avocados, large chunks, tomatoes, red onions, a little bit of minced jalapeno, and of course our cucumbers. Now these are diced and de-seeded, and we'll add that in. A little salt and pepper, of course, and a good quality extra virgin olive oil. We'll go ahead and mix that up. You wanna leave your chunks a little large, uh, that way they give good texture. We'll let that sit and marinate for just a little while while we prepare our scallops. Now our scallops are completely raw and what we'll be using is lime juice in order to slightly cook the scallop and denature them. Um, you can cut the scallops however you like. Uh, we like to go with larger chunks here. Gives a little bit of that, more of that sweet flavor from the scallop and uh, gives a good natural texture to it. So we'll add those in. First thing we want to do is add our lime juice. Let that nice citric acid sit on top of those scallops. Of course, seasoning, salt, peppers, really all you need. You want the natural flavor of the scallop to come out a lot more than anything. From there, we'll add again some minced jalapeno, um, a little bit of chopped green onion, and uh, one of my new favorite ingredients is uh, celery leaf. It's the leaf from any celery, you know, your natural leaf from it. And we'll go ahead and chop that up. It adds a very unique flavor without that crisp, uh, watery texture of the celery. We mix that up a little bit more. We're gonna add in a little jalapeno infused olive oil. It just adds little heat without being too much of a burn. As that sits, it slowly cooks the scallop slightly, uh, making it uh, delicious. To finish this off, we go ahead and we place our guacamole down with our cucumbers. Top it with our scallops. Finish it with a little jalapeno infused olive oil. And that's our dish. All right, Chef. You know as well as I do that this is not the first time I taste this dish. I've been eating it probably two or three times a week for the last three months. But for your benefit, I'm going to pretend, pretend it's the first time I taste it. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I almost don't want to stop eating to tell you about it. But it's so delicious. The scallops are really sweet. That little bit of celery gives it a little crunch. Avocado's creamy. Got a little bit of heat from the jalapeno infused oil. Let's see, let me just make sure I like it. Mm -hmm. A real winner. If you're anywhere in the Homa area, definitely come pay a visit to Cristiano's. They open at 11, but they don't close until 10. They don't close between uh, two and five like most restaurants do. So I usually come around three o'clock, it's not busy, and uh, it's in between meals. I, I just love this place. Cristiano's, come check them out.
Well, folks, I had a blast. If you want to come out here and have some of this fun, go to kayakvenicela.com. Talk to Captain Brian, he'll hook you up. You don't have to own a kayak. You don't even have to own a rod and reel. You don't even have to know how to cast a rod and reel. He'll teach you. But I guarantee you'll have a good time. Captain Brian, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Captain Cal and Captain Nolan, thanks for paddling that cameraman around for us all day. Poor man, I know you were dying to cast the line, but you didn't. You didn't. As always, we got to give a special thanks to our military, both our active troops and our veterans. We love you, and folks, please keep them in your prayers. So until next time, keep on casting. Boudreaux's walking through town with a sack over his back. Thibodeau sees him and asks, Boo, what you got in that sack? He says, I got some chickens. Thibodeau says, Boo, if I can tell you how many chickens you got in that sack, would you give me one? Boudreaux thought a minute, he said, I tell you what, you guess how many chickens I got in this sack? I'll give you both of them. Open your eyes and wake up, honey, now.